So we're going to deal with your brother right here, right? Because he came over and looked at the sun. He's coming over looking at the signs. Listen close while we talk to, the, to your brother, right? All right, my brother. You see, look at the check out the signs. Whose history that looks like? That looks like our history, right? So-called black people. So-called black people. Find your name. Find who you are on the sign right here. Because you got on the... You looking at it. It's on your left side, right? That's the, that's the names out of the Bible. On the other side, which is your right... That's the names that uh, the the so the nations are give to us. The so-called white man. They give us names that are not within the Bible. So find your name on that sign. Well, my um nationality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nationality, exactly. Ain't you, Robert? American blacks. That's and we go and we know that because of the curses in Deuteronomy 28, right? Yeah. That's how we know we're the Israelites in the Bible, because Jew, I mean Judah is uh is a head tribe in the nation of Israel, right? And Christ also came from that same tribe. Give me that, Hebrews. Listen close. Hey, what's your name? Who? TQ. 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 I got you, TQ. TQ. Listen to this. What the, uh, what uh, the Bible says about the tribe of Judah as uh, the American blacks are from, which you just pointed at. Read. The Book of Hebrews, chapter seven, verse fourteen. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Hey, TQ, who's our Lord? Who's our Lord? Out of the Bible? You, you believe in the Bible? You say yes? So who's the Lord of the Bible? Jesus Christ, right? Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So your Lord, Jesus Christ, came from the same tribe that you are. That's right. That means you are a child of God. You're the descendant of Christ. You have... The Lord's blood running through your body, right. and you don't even know it. You are, you are, you are an heir with God. You're supposed to be an heir with Christ, right? So you know what Christ looks like. Have you learned what Jesus Christ looked like? What did I say in Revelation? What did describe him as? Will he hear? So you describing who, who, what people? Nah, nah. They said the Bible says that he had woolly hair. Right. His feet was like burnt brown. So we're gonna read that out of the Bible, right? To show more evidence that what he came from the tribe of Judah. Once more, read, read that. Revelation one and one. Revelation chapter one verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Because we are his servants. Nobody else on this planet is a service Ash. but the Israelites. Right. But the Israelites. Jump down to verse 14. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So they gave us this image to teach us a lie. Right? The cross. Right? Christianity is a lie. That's what this image is. Christianity. This image is lost statutes and commandments, keeping thereof. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right? You just you just you you just described that, right? Woolly hair. What people have woolly hair? You just said it, right? Us, right? So-called black people, right? You good? You listening? Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. So my brother TQ. Your feet, right? What color is your, 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 is your feet like uh, fine brass? You know what color fine brass is? What color is fine brass? It's, dark, it's, it's, dark it's, it's a dark brownish color. As if they what? As if they burned in a furnace. So if I take a dark brown color, right, and I put it in a furnace and it burns, what color does it come out? Yo. Black. Black. Hey. Christ is a black man, a dark-skinned black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Our forefather, right? Yeah. From the mighty tribe of Judah, right? So, Noel, thanks, Lamont, Rallo, Rallo. Man, Rallo, TQ, Rallo, TQ. So we know that with Christ being the king uh, uh, from the tribe of Judah, that would make the Jews what? Black people. The whole Bible is about black people. That's right. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14 and 2. This is talking about all the people on each side. All the people on this side right here, right? Read on. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth 
and the gates thereof languish. So the Jews are in mourning. Why? Because they're in captivity. Right. Our leaders languish. Our so-called leaders languish. Right? Read on. They are black. They are what? They are black. Like Jesus the Christ, like in Revelation 1. Read. Unto the ground. Like the soil that we was created from. Like the soil we was created from, from the, from the beginning. Read on. And the cry of Jerusalem is going up. So our cry is going up because we are in captivity and we lament for salvation. Right. Yeah, I got you. What's my man in? TQ. TQ. My man, Red Hat. Hey, come close real quick. I want, I want to uh, deal with something, right? Come close real quick. My bad. Right? So you understand why it's important the brothers like showing you that uh, according to the Bible, Christ looks like you. And not only him, but the, the Jews look like you. Give me uh, Hosea 3. No, I want 3 and 4, I believe. Get that real quick. I'm going to show you why it's important that he's bringing this out to, to you. Right? Because you're the people of the book. You understand that, right? You understand that that's what, what all this is about? Otherwise, there's no reason for us to be out here. Right? Because I don't live here. These brothers don't. Most of these brothers don't, don't live here. But we're out here, you know, talking to my man TQ, right? So why is it important that... You understand, before we leave, that not only does Christ, the most famous man ever to walk the earth, look like you, but also the people of the Bible look just like you. Read what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter 3, verse 4. Read. For the children of Israel. For who? The children of Israel. That's you and I, TQ. Pay attention. Listen. The children of Israel, the same people on this sign, you and I, read. Shall abide many days without a king. Right, so do we have a king that speaks on our behalf? The brother was going over it early. Do we have anybody that speaks on our behalf? Outside of uh, LeBron James or uh, Kevin Hart or entertainers? Does, does anybody of, of status speak on our behalf? Probably not, right? I agree. <laughs> right, okay, all praises. Read. And without a prince. So we don't have no dignitaries, no kings, no nothing. Read. And without a sacrifice. Uh -huh. And without an image. Without what? Without an image. What is the image of the black man today? Bring it out. You on TQ? What the image? When people think of a black man, what image do they think of? I think of yeah. I mean like what 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 comes with being a black man? Is it a positive image or a negative image? Mm, I get I, I I see what you mean, but the world associates black men with a very negative image. Right. Right? Not Jesus Christ. They associate white people with Jesus Christ. Right. And purity and angels and goodness and sweet baby Jesus and all of these these beautiful, amazing things. But they associate you and the color of your skin and who your people are with evil, demonic, devils, thugs. Gangsters, baby daddies, everything evil. You gonna rob me, hold your purse dear. That stuff, right? Is that not true? Do they not look at us that way? Is that not why you can get killed in the street? There was literally police parked right there. That Does that happen in white people? Do police park in white people's neighborhood just Bring it out. because they just, hey, I'm just gonna pull up on the side of your house and just park, or I'm gonna pull up on your street. Does that, does that happen in white people's neighborhood? No. no, that happens in your neighborhood. Right. You know why? Because what? Read that again, that last part. And without an image. Because the children of Israel would abide many days without a positive image. Without the image of kings, dignitaries, righteousness, good. Everything associated with greatness, you would abide many days without that image. Your image would be turned into something evil. So when the brothers explain it to you that this man in the Bible looks like you, as do the people like Moses, Ezekiel, Isaiah look like you, He's restoring the image that has been stripped from us. Right. You understand that? Thank you. Okay, understood. All right. All praises. All praises. Job 8 and 8. You finished that, right? Uh, Job 8 and 8. Because the purpose of our is for us to get you to uh, want to do what? Read the Bible. Read the scriptures and do this very thing because we don't do this enough today. Read. The book of Job, chapter 8. In verse 8. So when you go home, you should teach your, your, your family members and your loved ones to do this out of the Bible. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself.
to the search of their fathers. So our fathers will be Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those are our forefathers. Those are who we come out here to save. Those children. The children of those men. Right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 10. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto thy fathers. Who is our fathers? Read on. To Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. So that's your forefathers who Job is telling you blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans to inquire upon. Right. Those men. Because those, those are who the promises are given to. Right. All the children of Israel. Give me that uh, Romans 9. Those are the promises given to the children. You should be joint heirs with Christ when he comes back. Right. At least you stay in sin, you die and no ruling for you. No rulership. Read. Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So your brother is going to be your kinsman according to your flesh. Where your, where your seed comes from. Right? Read. Who are Israelites? Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? The adoptions back into the covenants because all Israel has sinned. Right? Read on. And the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. And the giving of the what? The giving of the law and the service of God. And the service of God. And the promises. Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Christ came for those who was given the law. Right. Right. All the promises. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 44. Or was it 5 and 44? 4 and 44. This is what this is referencing. Where, who gave us the law? Who gave us the law? Moses. The first five books. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 4 and verse 44. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. Who set it before the children of Israel? Moses set before the children of Israel. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spake unto the children of Israel. So the testimony statutes as well, because our people get too much, t too many times get caught up on just the big 10. Well, well guess what? You're not even keeping that if you're not celebrating the Sabbath. Right. If you're not even corrugating because that's in there as well. So you're not even keeping the Big Ten. Right? Read it again. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spake unto the children of Israel after they came forth out of Egypt. So all of that he gave us to do what? Keep us out of sin to give us to give us instruction to do what? Get the kingdom of heaven. Get the kingdom of heaven. So what must we do? What did Christ come to do to do what? Teach us repentance, right? The blacks and Spanish and the Americans, repentance to come back to Christ to get the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 4, 17, read. The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 17. Now when I'm sorry. Verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So how do we get that? How do we, how do we get that? How do we, we repent? What? We return uh, from our wicked ways. We stop doing sin. We search our sin, meaning we read in the Bible every day. So what? So how do we get the kingdom of heaven, right? Matthew 19, 17. Matthew 19, 17. This is the instructions right out of the Bible. Right? We, we like to have these little, uh, little wise sayings about uh, the Bible. It says uh, basic instructions before leaving earth. Come on, seek you out of the book of the Lord is what it is. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 17. And he said unto them, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. Read it again. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, 
Thou shalt not bear false witness. So to keep the commandments, you must abstain from all those things. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.